Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and today I'm gonna to share with you my number one tip for grooming. So I get asked this all day, every day, what is my magic tip? Is it like the brush I use, the spray I use, the comb I use, you know, like the magic essential oil that I spray on my dog? Let's just clear it up right here, is that if I had one of those, if I had the magic elixir, I probably wouldn't need to be on YouTube talking to you about what it was. But what I do have is the number one tip. I learned it, I learned it the hard way, and anytime I haven't done it, I have paid for it. And that magic tip is dry your dog properly. Drying our dogs thoroughly, completely, following a system, but making sure that they are 100% dry is my number one tip. You have to bath your dog, you have to rinse it properly, and then you need to dry your dog absolutely properly. I don't like to put my dog on a table soaking wet. I don't like the water to be dripping out of them. I think that that is a huge waste of time. I think any dog that you put on a table to dry, even when you're starting with your velocity dryer, it should be on two clean, dry towels. You don't wanna be forcing that water off your dog, have it bounce on the table and just bounce right back up into the dog. There are lots of different tips and tricks that you can use to make your drying more efficient and to make it turn out better. And there's lots of tips and tricks that you can use when your dog is completely dry to make that dry last longer. But the number one thing is that you have to dry your dog properly. That means using the right kind of dryer at the right time on the right parts of the dog and using the right brush on the right part of your dog as well. Those things are really important to the final product. If your dogs aren't turning out straight, they're not keeping their blow dry, most likely you are stopping before your dog is 100% dry. Your hair can hold on to moisture for many hours after you have finished drying it. And this is the same for our dog. So if your dog is slightly damp, it is only 98% dry and it lays in a crate, especially a wire crate, that's going to completely change its blow dry. So making sure that our dogs are completely dry, they're stylized dry, is the number one tip you can use at home. It's cheap. You're already doing it, right? You already have a dryer and a brush and you're already drying your dog. So keep doing it. Do it till it is 100% done. Don't stop at 98. You know, don't go out and spend $80 on the next best shampoo or $40 on another brush or $70 on a conditioner. Use what you have at home, which is basically elbow grease, a brush, and the dryer that you already have, and get your dog 100% dry. So when you're drying your dog and you think you have your dog dry, you cannot think that you have your dog dry. You have to be sure that your dog is 100% dry. It doesn't matter how good you are at scissoring or clipping or how fantastic your dog is or what a great coat they have. I have seen a lot of dogs that look good, they look fairly dry at 85 to 90% dry, even 98% dry. But is that 2% that is going to wreck everything? Your scissoring the next day is not gonna look the same. Your double-coated breed that you are not scissoring is not gonna look the same. The top line that you have worked at for 15 minutes to get it to be nice and level and straight, you should have worked at it for 18 minutes because those three minutes is what is going to make it last into tomorrow. Even your smooth, it doesn't matter if you have an Afghan hound or a boxer. If they go into a wire crate with a slightly damp coat, even 2% of the water left in the coat, and they lean up against that wire crate, it is the moisture in that crate that is going to create lumps, bumps, ripples, and make that coat not look perfect tomorrow. It's the same with the dogs that were scissoring. You need to wash and dry your dog 100% and then brush and comb it out. If while you're brushing and combing it out, you notice any dampness, you need to re-dry that dog. For new people, one of the things I like to tell them is finish drying your dog and let it, you know, your dog is warm from the dryer. Let the dog, you know, go out, potty, whatever you need it to do. 
but 10 to 15 minutes later, feel the coat. Anywhere the coat feels cool, it's most likely wet there. And that is where you need to just go back and keep redrawing that dog. Check those spots, check behind the ears, in the armpits, those groin areas, and just make sure your dog is 100% dry because if it is not, that groom, whether it's a long coated dog that you want the hair to look straight, a curly dog that you want the hair to look curly, a smooth coated dog, a scissor dog, whatever it is, that groom will not look the same no matter how much effort you put into all the other areas of your grooming. Your scissoring doesn't matter, your chalking doesn't matter, your stripping doesn't matter if your dog is not 100% dry. I hope that you can take this tip, literally my number one tip about grooming your dog is drying your dog. And like I said, it's not expensive. I am not telling you to buy another piece of equipment, a different brush, a different lotion or potion. I am asking you to put in the elbow grease and take another five minutes or 50 minutes, whatever it takes to take your dog from 85% dry to 100% dry. And you will create the magic yourself. Your grooms will look that much better, I promise you. I hope this helps. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.